that 1 lakh new people are diagnosed with blood cancers in India every year. My name is Dr. Isha Kaul. I am director in the Department of Hematology, Oncology, Bone Marrow Transplant at Max Super Speciality Hospital, Vaishali. And today I'm going to be talking to you about stem cell transplants. Stem cell transplant is a form of treatment which is employed to treat serious blood disorders. The kinds of blood disorders that are treated include thalassemia, aplastic anemia, which are non-cancerous blood disorders, as well as cancerous blood disorders such as acute leukemia, multiple myeloma, lymphoma, and other such disorders. Stem cell transplants are predominantly of two categories, autologous stem cell transplants in which the patient's own cells are used and these are principally used for treating lymphoma and multiple myeloma. The second category is allogenic stem cell transplants which requires a donor for giving the stem cells uh, and are used for the treatment of the patient. The donor can be from the family and sometimes when a genetically compatible donor is not present in the family, then donors can be available through unrelated donor registries, uh, which are uh, where uh, volunteers have put in uh, their genetic data and matching can sometimes be identified in these databases. The important thing is that hematopoietic stem cell transplant is uh, becoming more common in India the success of transplants is becoming uh, higher. Uh, the number of centers that are performing are increasing and the results of stem cell transplants in India at this time are comparable to anywhere else in the world. The complexity of transplants is also increasing and a lot of patients who previously could not undergo transplant because of uh, an unavailability of a suitable donor are able to undergo transplant through modified techniques such as haploidentical or half-matched transplants and matched unrelated transplants. In addition to this, it's important to know that all of the process of stem cell transplant is a medical process. It employs chemotherapy and sometimes radiation therapy, but it is not a surgery. Unlike liver and kidney transplant, the risks to the donor are very, very minimal and the process of donation of stem cell transplants is quite simple and easy. Uh, another thing is to distinguish stem cell transplant from a different word called stem cell therapy. This word is used very commonly um, to refer to regenerative medicine for disorders such as chronic liver disease, kidney disease, neuro-related disorders, but stem cell therapy as a regenerative therapy has been largely unsuccessful. And so uh, this should not be uh, you know, promoted because the results are actually not very good when it comes to stem cell therapy as a regenerative therapy for uh, solid organ damage. The results in India are improving, patients are doing better, but timely recognition and timely referral to a transplant center is very essential for good outcomes. Uh, hopefully you found this, the material in this video helpful. If you have any questions about stem cell therapy and stem cell transplant, you can put the questions in the comments below and somebody will get back to you and try and help you. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get the latest healthcare updates.